Hey, James and Jazz here, excited to bring you a legs toner workout, y'all. Yes. We're rocking our chic gear, ready to go. Got my gloves, got my belt, got my knee brace for this great legs workout, y'all. I think you're really gonna enjoy this one. A little bit about the equipment that you might need today. You might wanna have some dumbbells. We do use dumbbells, we use kettlebells, well, a modification of a kettlebell anyway. And we also have a chair over here that we'll be using throughout the workout. So we have filmed a legs instructional video before. Again, this is an instructional video. I didn't tell you that at the beginning, but it's an instructional video, not a full length workout where you're gonna be doing a 30 minute plus workout with us. No, we're just gonna demonstrate the exercises. You can take notes on them or take screenshots, whatever you wanna do, and go do them on your own time in the gym. So today's workout is a workout that Jasmine's gonna walk us through and she'll explain why it's this workout. How'd you come up with this, babe? Yes, I did this workout or a very similar one in high school every day in gym class. And it, we were testing it. My class was all girls. And we wanted to see if we could lose some inches around our thighs for summer. So wow. it ended up, working really well. I think I lost between an inch and an inch and a half around my quads because I was toning up my legs. And so I just wanted to share with you guys, um, or ladies especially, some exercises that really, really worked and targeted that hard to get thigh area. We want those toned legs for summer. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's just, it's great to feel the burn because you know it's working. Yeah. But um, it's gonna be a good one. So we're just demonstrating this. You can pick and choose if some of these you're like, I am not doing that, then just exit out of your workout. You don't have to do it. We're just giving you options. And so we have 11 exercises here and something's bound to be new for you or to implement into your exercise to switch things up. That way you can target that muscle and shock it. Yeah. Cause we don't want to get used to doing the same workout all the time. Right? That's right. That's right. When you hit that so. plateau, that's a pretty good sign that it's time to switch it up a little bit. So yes. we've got what, 11 different exercises we're gonna yep. show them, which, hey y'all, this is gonna rock your world. So maybe maybe when you decide to go the first round, maybe you're like, ah, I don't, maybe, don't, maybe don't wanna do all of them, but it's up to you. So just depending on your level of fitness. So. Yeah, so we're gonna kind of alternate here because you need a little bit of space for some of these. So I'm gonna let James start yeah. off with the first one. Yeah, and you might remember if you've watched any of our other videos before, we have done lunges. So we're gonna show you a foot on the chair lunge. So it's a really great exercise. We're actually gonna be in that lunge position the whole time. It kind of reminds me of our pulse lunges that we did in, in our prior video. This adds a little bit more intensity because you're getting that foot up there and you're also going to notice a little bit of balance that you have to have to do this one too. So yes. foot on the chair lunge. You definitely want your foot on the very edge of the chair. Yep. And you want your knee to be a 90 degree angle here. And that is going to get the full range of motion yep. for your leg. If you want to bump this up though, you can actually hold dumbbells. Hold some dumbbells in there as yes. well. What? Now that's intense. I like that. It was very intense. I remember just like dripping sweat in gym class with that one. You want to make sure your chest is up yep. though. So don't be bending forward. That's not going to help you. Yeah. And one thing that I just noticed doing this, maybe you even want to have like a towel on there or something. So you're not hurting the top of your foot. So that's another option as long as it doesn't slip off. Right. Cause top of your foot. Well, the top of my foot was. What are you doing? Right there. Doing oh, I always put my toes. Oh, the toes. Yes. I don't know. That's there a good, go. oh, that's so much better. My gosh, I'm happy <laughs> I said something. So I'd be holding yeah. dumbbells here. There you go. And then you notice my knee is staying in line with my ankle. So that's important as well. We want to make sure that knee is not going in front of your toe. It's a good way to possibly blow out a knee. So of course you're going to want to do, do both that. legs. So you want to switch legs and do the other side as well. Is that a new exercise for you? Well, I just, I don't know why I put my foot flat, but that kind of, I was like, hey, that it's hurts It's fun the top to be foot. creative. I've done it before. I just, I don't know why I did we it We haven't the done it in a while. Yeah. So the next one is a seated one-legged squat. So I've also done these at the gym where you have, what are they called? Those boxes. Jane, Jane Fonda, you, whatever things. No. Or, oh, like boxes to jump on, like yes. bo box squat like type. Yeah. The cushiony ones yeah. though. Yep. So I would even use those and I would stack them up a little bit higher. That way it's not as low as a drop. Mm -hmm. And so I would recommend that. But I remember at school, like we just grabbed, like, I think it was like at the cafeteria benches. Right. 
And so what you can do here is if you're more of a beginner, you just start out going like this. And this is a great one for balance as well. But as you get more advanced, then you can start going lower and really use that chair yeah. as a way to measure how low you're getting. That way, once you feel the chair on the back of your hamstring, then you start raising up. Yeah. Obviously, make sure that you repeat it on the other leg as well because you don't want one quad just massively toned. And do, and people, do people end up bringing their leg up even higher too? Yes, as they go and down? as you get better, you can literally start, oh, bring. start bringing that leg up too. It is, it burns you guys, it's killer. Yeah. But it's effective. <laughs> yeah, that reminds so, me of a little bit, a little bit of box squats when I was in high school. Yeah. We used to have the boxes, but then we'd have the bar there, but you would squat down to the box. Yes. Not with one leg though. I don't think we ever one did that with one leg. One leg is <laughs> next level. So yeah. Bring this out for a little Sweet. bit. Sweet. I like it. So okay. next we have the a goblet squat. So I'm just gonna grab what's nearest to me here. So Jasmine explained to me, I actually never knew why it was called the goblet squat. Yeah. It's because it's cause like you're, you're holding a goblet. So. so normally, like I would use a kettlebell for this, but our attachments are kind of oblong. Yeah. So when you hold the dumbbell like this, it looks like a goblet that royalty would drink out mm -hmm. of. You know, those fancy cups. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's called a goblet. Yep. Then you're allowing your butt to fall back and then pressing up through the heels. So it would look like that yep. from the side. Yes. and go as low as you feel comfortable um, and yeah that's pretty much it mm -hmm. I mean I always keep my chin up keep my chest up as much as possible Definitely. we don't want to be bending over like this I want to allow that butt to fall back and sometimes I'll even allow my elbows to touch my knees as I go down that's getting low getting low y'all getting low <laughs> so so the next one is called a kettlebell squat. So what I really want to highlight here, babe, if you'll grab yeah. that attachment, yeah. this is great to be able to utilize the workout equipment that you already have in your house. If you have dumbbells and you're like, I don't want to invest in buying kettlebells now, this attachment, you literally can put a dumbbell in it and it turns it into a kettlebell. How it cool snaps, is this? Snaps over. So that's what we're using. <laughs> we're not trying to promote it. We just bought it so that we could film kettlebell stuff. So. Yeah. And I like doing the kettlebell squat with an actual kettlebell. Yep. So this one, you angle your toes at a diagonal and we're going to do what looks like a plie. So if you are a dancer, if you are in ballet world here, you'll know what I'm talking about. You'll speak my language. So we're keeping our chest up again and our booty is going back and we're going to drop down like this. So you can go pretty heavy on these. I'm going really light just because I didn't want to keep switching out the weight. But this is a great one for your booty and really for the whole leg. Mm. Um, but yeah, make sure your toes are at a diagonal. That'll help get the maximum effect for the inner thigh as well. Come on, I like that. Yeah, yeah. So now we got lunges, front, side, and rear. She's going to need some space for this one yes. too. I'm going to get out the way. So uh, in high school, what we did, instead of just doing all front, all back, we really got our heart rate ramped up because we did this first we went front then we went side and then we went back then we switched and did the opposite side and i'm doing i'm hitting the wall so it's six total lunges and that was one round what? and we would do like 15 to 20 rounds of it so that gets your heart rate up yep. and you do need some space for this, yep. but it really helps when you're getting that uh, full range of motion. Like you can really lean into it. Just keep your chest up though as yep. well and make sure that you're having 90 degree angles yep. on the front and back yep. and on the side, try to sit back as much yep. as you can. You don't want to be like leaning forward because that can really hurt your knee. Yeah, allow that butt to fall back. Always when you're doing any lunging yeah. activity, you always want to make sure that knee is in line with your, with your ankle preferably. I always say with your ankle because you just want to make sure you don't go in front <laughs> of the toe. So it's, it's a safety measure to just say keep it in line with your ankle. Um, and even when you're doing a lunge back, you want to watch that as well. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. So the next one is called Good Mornings. I really like to use kettlebells, but you can use dumbbells too. Yep. So this one, I might be cutting off a little bit of the screen here, but that's okay because I want to show you the proper form first. 
So what you're going to do is this is a great one for balance. Oh my okay. word. And because you're having to balance, it really works your hamstrings in a way that they've hardly been worked before. Like I would in the past, I've been lifting a little heavier on leg day, mm -hmm. but when you do these, the good mornings, it really shocks your legs and you can become even more sore than if you would do like a regular leg machine. And so, I think it's because you're isolating each leg and having to balance at the same time mm -hmm. that your every intricate part of your muscle is, is getting used. So what you do is opposite leg, opposite arm. And so obviously for this way, it would be that way. So if I'm going to demonstrate here, you want to be squared up. So we're not twisting as you go down, you're not opening up your body mm -hmm. to the side. That's a no-no. So you're going to stay straight and I'll show you a side angle as well, but you're going straight up and down just like this. Nice. So a side view would be like this. I do have a little bit of a bend in my leg, mm -hmm. but you will so feel that. Oh my word. Yes, you will. <laughs> Come on. It's I a great it. one. Obviously, switch legs as well. So now, my love. Dumbbell deadlift. So, I'm going to grab two dumbbells for this. And I'm going to go with a more than shoulder width apart stance. Hopefully, my sound in my pocket does not get crushed. Um, so, as I do these, the big thing is you want to make sure you're allowing your butt to fall back as you, as you allow your chest to drop. I always try to keep my shoulders rolled back, my chest up, my head up. So, well not, you keep your head in line with your spine, but so as I'm coming back, you can have a slight bend in your knees. It is called a straight leg deadlift, but um, so you can, if you want, have a slight bend in your knees, but as you're going down, you're allowing that butt to drop back. You're coming up, thrust forward, squeeze through your glutes, your hamstrings, and your lower back, and then go back down, up, squeeze down, up, now thrust forward and squeeze tight. So you want to make sure you're not missing that part. That's the most important part is that thrust forward, squeeze through the glutes mm -hmm. or the glutes, <laughs> the hamstrings and the lower back, which is up here. So you want the maximum oh. results, my friends. Yep. Okay. So good. So good. All right. We told you we're hitting every part of the legs here. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to keep going and we are going to advance now to hip ups. Mm -hmm. So I've got two versions that I'll show you guys. First one being very simple. So get a cushion if you can, but keep your arms on the floor. You can kind of put them under your back to support you a little bit. I highly recommend balancing on your heels. Mm -hmm. You're not going to get as much of a result if you keep your feet flat footed. Mm -hmm. If you go to your heels, when you press up, you'll feel it a lot more. It'll be more intense. Mm -hmm. So when you're up, have that mind muscle connection and make sure you squeeze right at the top here. So if you're just going through the motions, you're not going to feel it as much. If you squeeze tight at the top, because you're having to balance on your heels, all of your muscles are engaged as well. Yeah. And then you can bring in a chair for a different angle as well. And you can do the same thing. So that just gets a different region of the hamstrings. So squeeze at the top. You'll feel that one a little bit more right here. The but oh yeah, it'll burn. Because yeah. this one on the ground, I feel that one more in my glutes. Okay. And that one I feel more, more in, in my hamstrings. hamstring. Great. So it's great. All right. So we got some uh, <gasps> leg raises. So that was eight and nine. That, that was, was hip ups and, and hip ups using a chair. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then so this next one, um, I was a dancer growing up and we used to do these every class because we really wanted to get our booty in shape for all of our turns that we'd have to hold and mm -hmm. leaps and kicks. So leg raises here. I'll go this way. So some different variations. You'll do straight leg raises. So it looks like this and you can point your toe. It's really isolating your booty. Then you can do pumps. Well, first you can go up and down with your pumps like this. Yep. Then you can do isolated pumps where it's more small mm -hmm. range of motion. 
And then you can also do hydrants to the side. So if I'm showing you, you have to do both legs as well. So straights, ups and downs here, bringing it in and out. Then you can do small range of motion pumps and then hydrants to the side. Good crack. Yes. But yes, that will really isolate that booty. Yeah, and I, when I lived in LA, I worked out at a celebrity training gym, one of the top celebrity trainers probably in the nation, perhaps the world, Eric the trainer. He worked these with the women a lot in the gym. Yep. I saw him constantly working with the top actresses, you know, athletes, things like that. He worked with a lot of the, you know, those that did martial arts and stuff as well sure. in, in movies. So I constantly saw him pushing them through very those. So effective. those are very effective. I, I encourage you to try those out. Okay, so last one. Last thing, cab raises. Can't neglect the lower legs there. Mm -mm. So, you know, feet about shoulder width apart. And you're just going to go up to your toes and down slow. So it's an explode up, down slow, explode up, hold, down slow, explode up, hold, down slow. And if you struggle with these, you can always ditch the weights and yep. instead just balance on a wall. Just put your hand on the wall just to help you or a chair since you already have a chair out as part of your equipment. Yeah, and if you have something that you can, if you want to get more of a stretch through the calf muscles, if you want to stand on something yeah. that is... You know, like the, uh, the Jane, Jane Fonda aerobic steppers yeah. or something like that. Whew. That'll get your feet off the ground about that high. So you can actually do a negative, allow that heel to drop further than your toe. That's going to give a lot more stretch in through the calf muscles. Or door frame. Much, yeah, much fuller uh, calf workout in general or exercise in general. I train a client yeah. over FaceTime. He stands in his door frame, like she was saying, and allows or his heels staircase. to drop further. I'm sure you have a railing with some <coughs> stairs yeah. that stairs, would work. Yeah. Those are great as well. So, yeah, um, hopefully y'all enjoyed this one. Yes, um, I know it definitely helps having some no. equipment like this. Like, I don't want to get calluses when I'm working out, so I like having gloves. Mm -hmm. And then this definitely helped us with our posture. Yep, and helps with the yeah. lower, lower back, especially when you're doing those squats and things. People can tend to want to do something weird with, the, right. with their back. So we, of course, I, of course, enjoy having these for when I do lunges if i'm doing dumbbell lunges as i'm lunging i want to make sure my back is nice and straight um, when i'm doing heavy squats i love my knee braces for all that as well lunges uh, leg presses phenomenal to keep my knees well supported uh, i love having these lunges all that good stuff gloves like she said calluses these actually have some good padding in them as well so if you're doing pushing motions like working out in the gym uh, chest press things like that it's nice to have that extra padding so encourage you to check out the Chic products. You can go to Chic.com. That's S-C-H-I-E-K.com. Check out the stuff. I'm, they've been a sponsor of me for over 10 <coughs> years now, 12 years now. So phenomenal company. Um, absolutely love them. And then God We Trust kind of company made in America. So great stuff. And y'all think outside the box. If you're like, all I have at home is dumbbells or all I have at home is kettlebells. All these exercises we did, you could do with just kettlebells or with just dumbbells. You just have to think outside the box how to do it. I mean, you saw we were holding these like this. You know, you can do the same thing when you're when you have a when you have a kettlebell. Like, so you know, you can do curls with kettlebells just like you can with dumbbells. So you just gotta think outside the box and find out how you can make the equipment work that you have at home. So hopefully, you found some of these exercises to your liking, so you can structure a workout for your own use yep. uh, at home or at the gym. And I uh, can't wait to hear about all the good results you're getting from these. Yes. Yeah, so do us a huge favor. Head to jamesandjazz.com. Click on that videos tab. You'll see all the videos we have to offer. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail because this video is longer than we expected. But we have spiritual videos. You can click on that tab. Learn a little bit about our, spiritual, our, our spirituality. We're going through a Bible study with us right now. Of course, we have, um, we have physically fit videos, which is this. A lot of different workouts that we show, exercise demonstrations that we show using dumbbells, kettlebells, resistance bands, all that stuff. Cardio. Yeah, and, then fi and cardio. And finally, we have life and relationship videos where we talk about what's going on in our life. Uh, relationship type to topics. We've been through it, y'all. We, we love to share any uh, information we've learned the hard way, the easy way, you name it. So I think that's about it. Do us a huge favor. Uh, click on those social media tabs on our homepage as well. We have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Follow us and like us. 
YouTube. You can subscribe to our YouTube. We'd appreciate that. And we love hearing back from you. As she said, give us a comment. Let us know what you thought of these exercises. Which one's your favorite and which one do you not like at all? Uh, you feel the give, burn. Yeah, give us that comment. Share it on your social yeah. media. Share the workout with your friends via text. We'd appreciate that as well. Anything else I'm yes, missing? Yes, on our website, you can scroll down and subscribe to our email, email list. list, or you can book us for an event if you want us to bring a workout for you at a conference or school or church. And then additionally, you can partner with us through prayer, and you can also partner with us financially. So yeah. if our videos are blessing you, because we bring all these to you for free, yeah. because we want you to be in the best shape of your life, spiritually, physically, mentally, relationally, if these videos are blessing you and you want us to be able to keep bringing new material, no obligation, no pressure, but $5 helps, $500 helps. We want to keep yeah. revamping and bringing our videos Good to the sound. next level. So thank you so much. You can donate on our website, jamesandjazz.com on the donate tab. You can click on that to get all the information regarding how to donate via PayPal, uh, Venmo, or Patreon. But we appreciate you guys. We hope you enjoyed this instructional demonstration legs toner workout. It's going to be awesome. So enjoy your day, and we will see you in the next workout video.